This problem from the textbook 4.25. Drunkard's walk is the classic name of the problem. A modern name is random walk. So for example, if you look this problem up on Wikipedia, you would find it under the term random walk. Okay, well we're doing a two-dimensional random walk, and so we're going to keep track of x and y coordinates, and we're going to imagine that we're traveling in a regular grid, like intersections in a city, and at each intersection we're going to make a choice and randomly, with equal probability, go in one of four directions. And in this version of the problem, we're going to take a fixed number of decisions and then see where we end up relative to where we started. So at each point, we're going to need to generate a random number, 0, 1, 2, or 3, so in this range, one of four values, so that we know which way that we're going to go next. All right, let's code this. Now we're going to need random numbers, so let's pound include C standard library, and we'll pound includes C time. We'll seed the random number generator. And I'll create a constant, which will keep track of the number of steps that we're supposed to make. And why don't we call this total steps. Okay, we're going to need x and y coordinates. Now, x and y are interesting variable names because if you're talking about a coordinate system, they're very descriptive. And so with only one letter, you can have a very nice variable name. If, this, if we were using variables x and y to keep track of the number of products sold or you know, some other value, then that would be very poor names. All right, now let's write a loop. Since we are counting to a specific number rather than some condition, a for loop would be a good choice here. i equals zero. i is less than total steps. i plus plus. All right. Now we're going to want to go randomly in one of four directions. Let's add a temporary variable. And here we'll say temp is equal to rand mod 4. So that will give us a value in the range of 0 to 3. OK, so we've got a random number between 0 and 4. Let's figure out our coordinate system. We're going to be starting at position 0, 0. And let's say that x increases as you go to the right and y increases as you go down. So that'll tell us how we need to adjust x and y in each of these four positions. All right, well, let's write a series of if statements to implement that. If temp is equal to 0, then x is increased by 1. All right, let's cut and paste that to do our other cases. And our directions are 0, 1, 2, and 3. If we're going in direction 2, then we subtract 1 from x. And in direction 1, we add 1 to y. And in direction 3, we subtract 1 from y. OK, that should complete the walk. Let's add some outputs so that we can see the results. A random walk of length total steps began at zero zero see out and ended at x comma y all right let's try compiling and running our program d plus plus minus wall minus dantic lab 11 and let's run the program 
And here we see our random walk started at 0, 0, and 100 steps later we were at negative 9, 11. And it is random, so here we are at 12, 10, 2, 0, and so on. So here we've completed our random walk. This idea of a random walk is interesting, and so maybe we'll revisit it again in a future program. Okay, well, that completes our simple solution to the random walk problem. Thank you.